Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to do right floor preparation, that means leveling. So many of uh, you when watching my videos, so like we have to do a level with laser, but we have two types of prepara floor preparation and leveling. So when it's level and when it's flat. So most of uh, who doing by by themselves uh, in floor installation need only make floor flat. So now I wanna show you step by step how to do it. Why I wanna show you because I have many videos about leveling. So last month I got a uh, few calls and when guys ask me about some things, uh, I'm just uh, was wondering why I didn't explain it before. So when I did my videos, most of videos is for floor professional. Now I'm doing for people who want to do it uh, first time. It just maybe it's only one job in your life. Okay, go ahead, take your coffee, have a seat on your couch and watch it. So now I want to explain you uh, what kind of tools it's minimum and materials what you, you have you have to uh, buy first of all the main tools this is straight edge i put here two straight edges one is 10 feet another eight feet so as long as you have straight edge it will show you the most of unperfection your floor so short <laughs> I saw like people showed. I just, I just bought like sample. This is can show anything. Sometimes people use this uh, level and show the what, what the imperfection. It's, it's 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 nothing. So most of ten or eight feet. Then you have to buy mixer. You have to. Uh, by dri drill, uh, everybody has some drill. You know, you can use uh, cordless or you can buy uh, a sport, any drill. And a roller, a regular roller, you can buy for deeper. Any travel, I have long travel, you can buy any one. So, glasses, mask, earmuffs, protect your ears, you know, you can use or you can't use, it's up to you, but mask and glass, glasses. It's really important. Knee pads important too. You have to because uh, you always have to stay on your knees. Need to protect it. Just knee pads, any knee pads, knife, pencil, handle for roller. Okay. Driver shoes and two buckets. Why two buckets? One bucket you can use for water, and another bucket you can use when you mix the uh, material. So, primer, very important, and self leveling compound. Don't use self leveling compound without primer. It's, it's gonna be big headache because uh, new material can unstick without primer from uh, old subfloor. So this is the basic. Okay, if you, if you wanna buy spike roller, it's gonna be big benefits for you. But if you want to be simple, just this or this straight edge and all this. Things. So now I want to show you how to check the floor and found where the um, we have palms and spots. Okay, go ahead. Clean pads. It's very important. I don't know. So 
so we have to check all direction so we have to check direction uh, your floor direction how you want to install for example from the one door to, to the windows to keep your room more light and also we have to check opposite direction okay so we i'm gonna start to check check with spray gauge it's 10 feet spray gauge so if you have a look if you have a look so we can have a look more close so if it's here it's attached and we go in you see this gap it's approximately a quarter inch gap and it holds away and then it's getting zero here okay if we slide if we slide You see this gap there is attached and here is attached but here we have a gap and here is bigger than it was before so it means you see so means all walls is same level but on the middle it's getting lower now we're gonna check opposite direction Gap. So just when we pull straight edge, we can see all imperfection. So you see here is gap. Just slide. Okay. Next time I will repeat it with mark this pencil. So it starts from here, it starts from here, and I move it more. So here, and it's here, right there. And so here, here. When you mark this pencil, you see where it, where is it, you know, when you put primer. So now here is flat, but what I here, I get it more here. Without straight edge, you never know where the, where the gaps. So right here, and here is some little bit. And here is getting flat. So when we make marks, when you make marks, we just can, can make it together, one line, and you see how 
how it's going. You see? How it's going. And here is marks. And right there. And right here. And just so you see with this two lines we have spots. I guess it's visible now, yes? Yeah? Right here, right here, right here. This is lower spots. The same way here. So now for me, easy to see it where I have to fill up. So most of leveling floor, you have to do opposite your floor, new floor direction. So if you go in this, this way installation so most of leveling need to start opposite okay because if it's be little wavy to your floor direction it's not visible but you know when you um, opposite uh, floor direction will be wavy you can see you know all bad things you know it's really tough next step need to put primer i want to sweep this floor and then apply primer go ahead don't forget use your mask next step how to apply primer for primer Take bucket. Take primer. Remember, this primer is it's a, a concentrated liquid, so it's always need to mix with water. So I wanna mix it 50-50. 50 primer and. 50 water so I'll mix it just because I don't take some measurement because I have some experience but you can you can take some bottle or glass glass or something if you put little bit more water than primer it's okay because that's it so guys, why we have to mix it 50-50? Because primer has to be penetrated to the conflict. Okay? Primer has to be penetrated. So if you don't mix it and put it as it is, primer dry like skin, and then you can take it and pull it off. So I saw a few times when people did it and when they apply uh, self-leveling all this, this primer all, all self-leveling and stick from the old uh, floor with uh, this skin of a primer so uh, it means it's very bad <laughs> so always mix it always when you buy when you buy whole bottle, you don't have to mix whole bottle, you know, just mix a little bit, apply. If you don't have enough, mix one more, a little bit more. So if some primer left, don't put this primer to original concentrated pri primer. Just take another bottle and put it uh, uh, in, in some different bottle, don't, don't put it together because this primer can you can hold a long time but if you mix it already with water and apply and there is some dirt you know it can be uh, okay it's not good so you see this lines what I put from one side in another side right there so we have to apply primer not exactly on this line we have to make 
primer overlapping. So not exactly here, so it should be far away. Don't scare, apply more primer, bigger place, better apply more than later, you know, get a problem when it's unstick. Just feed it like this and just roll it, spread it. This uh, mix water this can penetrate very fast to the concrete. Okay. So maybe another 20 minutes. Yeah, it's getting dry, and we can start uh, leveling. All materials what I'm using here and tools you can find in description of this video. Okay. So because I want to, I have to start from this wall, I need to protect a leak into the basement. I'll take <coughs> this foam. You can, you can buy uh, this foam in any lumber store. Just put it right here. You can use hammer. Stapler or other stapler, stapler. Just. It's called gasket tape. It's four and a half size. What I'm most using, and uh, it's cost five dollars one roll. With one roll you can cover a uh, whole main floor, maybe maybe basement. Uh, so next step, I want to apply uh, caulk on the bottom to protect leaking, okay? So I did protection from this line, you see line here, and another line right here, you see, it's right here, so I just make it a little over. Okay, next step, we have to mix compound, so how, how I'm doing it. So we have bucket, five gallon bucket. This bucket is spe special for magma play make it, you know. And here I see we see gradation. For example, one gallon, one and a half, two gallons, three gallons, four. So five gallons right here for this point. So when I mix uh, in big barrel, uh, I have four three bags barrel. I always fill up water by this point, five gallons for three bags and I'm using. So it's five gallons I'm using for three, three bags, for one gallon it, it should be third part from four, five gallons. So it should be a little bit more than one gallon, one and a half, just like somewhere here. A little bit more than one and a half gallon, okay? Now, why I'm just explain 
my experience because if you put less water it's gonna be uh, not enough liquid what you need to when you do leveling so if you put more um, uh, it's can sand can uh, sand which is uh, uh, part of uh, self leveling can be settled down and uh, on top you can feel uh, when it's dry like you know very uh, not so not solid it's going to be not solid i don't know how to say okay so just and just fill 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 it's one gallon one and a half like this a little bit more okay Take your drill. Okay. Don't forget take your mask. Okay. Take knife. Say a little bit more water, little bit. So when mix it's ready, this is already done, primer is settled, we protect wall for leaking downstairs, just put straight edge, you don't, you don't have to just push it or something, just put it, and that's it, so take, uh, just it's dry now, need to make it wet, put it in the water, you know. Okay, let's start. So we have two points here and there you can see the spot. And we just Some extra here. Just let it. 
and always just move your straight edge forward and to right and left side. It's spread very good. This is compound. Okay. I never put uh, from the bucket self loading compound close to the straight edge because straight edge can fall down <laughs> and you have to clean up it, you know. Just so easy to use travel. Just we are going, we are going, okay. I will hide it a little bit more. In some spots, don't worry. Just we going. First of all, we going to one side, and then we will go to another side. So when we finish sliding uh, straight edge to one side, now we have to go to go, go back. So now it's not not too bad, but. So now we can leave it as it is because it's nice and flat. But if you want to make more smooth, so we can use a uh, spike roller. If, if you buy spike roller, you can use it. It's going to spread and make it nice and smooth. Now it's perfect. I think everybody can do it. Just need to be more precise. So don't forget to clean up your tools. Because if you don't clean up it, so next time you can't use this spike ruler I already used six or seven years. It's still in life, you know, <laughs> because I am cleaning all tools and travel as well. Okay, so these edges, some subscribers asked me about edges, what we can do with edges. So I want to wait when it's getting more solid and then I take a 
sponge, wet sponge, and make it nice and smooth. The other way, when it's completely dry, you can wait, you can take grinder and make it smooth with grinder. So, but most of you don't have grinder, you can do it with uh, with sponge. Okay, so let's go wait for half an hour. So now we can make these edges smooth with sponge. Just I didn't push it. I just just put it and just slide it. Make it like this. Just more wet. Like this. Okay. Look at this. Just in one my video I talked about how to make um, how to level the floor and make it like mirror. Look, I guess it's mirror. <laughs> Look how it's nice, huh? That's it. It's getting dry in an hour. And we can walk. We can do whatever we want. Okay? Thanks for watching. I guess everybody now can make it. <laughs>